What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to Two and a Half Brothers. My name is Alex. I'm with my brother Jacob and our cousin Evan. And today we are watching the next BTS short film and song in our series. Uh, this is uh, Reflection, and it's by RM. Yep. Me we've been I, we've been waiting for we, this one, dude. We've been waiting for RM. I I don't know why, but I've yeah. been we wanted to see what he brings to the table for these uh, short films. Yeah, no, exactly. You know I mean? I, he's gonna be spitting bars, dude. And we got the English subs on the film this time. Yeah, the <laughs> film, guys. The film. We got English subs for the film. It is only going to 480p, so it yes. might look a little like it was filmed with a toaster. But <laughs> that way it's we like, can kind of know what's going on. It's like the producer's assistant filmed on his Nokia Flip, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was filmed on a rock. Let's get this bad boy started. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. Oh, God, dude. The other realm, however, overlapping half our house was completely different. A loud mixture of horrendous, intriguing, frightful, mysterious things, including slaughterhouses and prisons, junkyards and screeching fishwives. Calvin cows, horses sinking to their death, tales of robberies, murders, and suicides. Okay. Bro, bro. Damn. That was wild. Pretty good for tattooing yourself. Wait, what did that say? I missed it. I see someone through the mirror right now. Oh. Dude, this has got some fucking visuals, bro. Like, Jesus. Yeah. It's the House of Mirrors. like these circles popping up at the end have some d way deeper meaning to them well everyone's been every circle has been unique to right everyone's like short film um this one starting out with what he was talking about like i don't know i'm i'm, I'm excited to see what the lyrics for this song actually are but you know like wishing you could love yourself and like that's a big someone, i feel like that's you know, a big theme of yeah for yeah. sure yeah so, that was a that was tough that was a tough was a lot yeah. especially with the title Heavy. being reflection there's a lot of breaking glass that was going on in there they had like at the very end was that phone booth 
that he it couldn't get war, it, had, it had war written on it. He couldn't get into it. Hmm. I don't know. I, it's also, I, like you were saying, the reflection, and then it's like, he ends with like, I wish I could love myself. And it's like, you're looking yourself in the mirror, and it's like he's breaking the mirrors because he can't. Everything's like, cracking, yeah. Because he like yeah. almost like can't stand looking himself in the mirror, you know, yeah. kind of thing. I mean, tattooing that image on himself and lighting on fire. Dropping in the alcohol, it, drinking it, drinking it, passing and then out. That crazy effect they had with the color on his arms. That was yeah. sick. That was really cool. That was actually really cool. Uh, yeah, dude, Alex, just I'm, I'm that excited. song was pumping at the end, dude. Let's get into yeah, this yeah. song. It was. It sounded like it was going to be a, a heater. A heater, for real. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Yes, sir. stories we got different nights and mornings our scenarios ain't just boring 나는 이 영화가 너무 재밌어 매일매일 잘 찍고 싶어 난날 쓰다듬어 주고 싶어 날 쓰다듬어 주고 싶어 근데 말야 가끔 나는 내가 너무너무 미워 사실 꽤나 자주 나는 내가 너무 미워 내가 너무 미울 때는 똑손에 와 그냥 서 있어 익숙한 어둠과 웃고 있는 사람들과 나를 웃게 하는데 슬며시 다가와서 나의 손을 잡는 fair 괜찮아 다둘 셋이니까 나도 친구가 있으면 좋잖아 Dude, he's being so vulnerable in this song, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's just like really just laying out some of his like internal problems that he's like struggling with and dealing with. Yeah. Like insecurities, like some yeah. pretty, pretty decent insecurities and like seeing everyone else be happy and then just looking at himself and being like, man, I wish I was like that. Dude, you know? and I think it's like, it's something that like a lot of people can relate to as well, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I feel like we all, that's maybe not you know like to that extent, but at some point feel that way. It's like seeing other people or comparing yourself to other people or something like that. I don't know if it's like mm -hmm. exactly what he's on, but no, I know. It's I true. feel like I I was gonna talk, but I feel like you guys both kind of nailed everything I was gonna say, so I don't think there's even a need to. But yeah, I think you're spot on with it, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Dude, 
dude, this song is also super vibe, dude. Just like, yeah, with that, like the effect they got on the piano right there in the background, mm-hmm. and then the almost synthy again, I guess, you know, like, yeah, on the beat, kind of like a lo fi, like a little the lo fi, yeah, yeah, definitely lo fi. Yeah. It's got some bass, little drum and bass to it, you know. I yeah, like the, yeah. the light singing, then the light rapping, you know what I mean? I think it flows really well together. Mm-hmm. It wasn't yeah, it, what I expected out of him. I don't know what it was. I, for some reason, I always expect like some fucking hardcore bars to be laid out, you know, which yeah. I shouldn't expect knowing how these short films are leading into yeah. the songs, you know? Mm-hmm. But I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. I think he's yeah. doing a great job with it. There's There's a fuck ton to unpack with these lyrics for sure. Um, I, yeah, I especially like when he's talking it. about like walking on the river and like seeing them like in like yeah. this life and the next and stuff like that. If it's fate, it's, you know, bumping mm-hmm. into them. Yeah. Yeah. God, man. Yeah. Let's, let's roll out to the end. Yeah, we'll, let's roll it out to the end. Yeah. Down, yeah. yeah. biggest one is self-love you know what i mean i think yeah. that's the, the main thing he's packing a punch with in this then like it's just being accepted by like society being ex- you know just being accepted in general and then i just feel like it's just a kind of repeating like a pattern of you know yeah i also yeah i really liked how he was just kind of straightforward with his vulnerability when a lot of the times like metaphor a lot like heavy metaphors are used to describe feelings and emotions and things like that in songs so it's like you can't even tell how vulnerable someone's being because it's almost like hidden behind their own way mm-hmm. of expressing it when i felt like yeah. in this one he was pretty much like straightforward just saying like nah i struggle with this you know like this is an issue and you know and it's like yeah, I I really I'm, like uh, appreciated that, you know. Yeah, I'm still hung up on like those lines where he's talking about like walking around the river and wishing to bump into someone, and then kind of talking about like wanting to be like free from freedom too, like it. I don't know, it's, man. Like it's I'm, questioning yeah. your existence almost. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, like yeah. having too much time to think. Like yeah. he, he's he doesn't want to have a bunch of time to think almost. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Well, let us know struggling what you with your think. thoughts. Yeah. 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 Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section mm-hmm. below, and make sure you guys smash that like button so it spreads this series to a bunch more people. And make sure you subscribe because we come out with one of these every week. And then follow us on social media, join our Discord, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.